Violence and panic inside one of America's busiest airports. And here he is, the young man police say is responsible, 23-year-old Paul Ciencia. He is accused of bringing an assault rifle and 100 rounds into Los Angeles International Airport yesterday morning. There was chaos and confusion inside Terminal 3 as a suspect allegedly murdered a TSA officer and shot two other people before he was seriously wounded in a shootout with police. We have live team coverage this morning, starting with ABC Cecilia Vega, who has the very latest from LAX. Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning, Viana Boy. A truly horrifying experience for passengers and workers here, but police say it could have been so much worse. They say the shooter had enough ammunition on him to kill everyone in the terminal. Overnight, the identity of that slain TSA officer revealed. He is 39-year-old Gerardo Hernandez, identified in this photo by his neighbors on the job since 2010, transferred recently to Los Angeles from Montana, the first ever TSA officer killed in the line of duty. It was shocking. Very nice guy. I'm, I'm just speechless. I'm shocked. And that shooter, the FBI releasing his picture overnight, Paul Ciencia, a 23-year-old L.A. resident whom authorities say opened and fire with a high-powered rifle inside Terminal 3 Friday morning. We had an active shooting in Terminal 3. Witnesses describe a chaotic scene, saying he started shooting right outside the security checkpoint. As police raced in, he made it all the way to the back of the terminal near the departure gate. Passengers ducked for cover, some even hid in a bathroom stall. Officers had their guns drawn, yelling at passengers to drop to the floor. And after people ran as fast as they could, the panic and lockdown that followed blocked ambulances from getting close, causing rescue workers to race hundreds of yards to get the wounded to safety. Witnesses say the shooter was armed with multiple guns. When he ran out of bullets in one, he allegedly grabbed another. I heard gunshots. A few seconds later, I saw him coming up the elevator and walked by about 10 feet away from me with his gun pointed. Hernandez, a behavioral detection officer trained to recognize strange behavior in airports, shot dead. Two more TSA officers injured, now recovering from their wounds. Police ultimately shot Ciencia. He was rushed away in an ambulance to a hospital. Many people in this airport's lives were saved because of the actions of those individuals. And the head of the TSA saying in a statement, no words can explain the horror that we experienced. Now, Terminal 3 and its parking lot remain closed. Some passengers still haven't been able to get back inside to gather their belongings. And we've seen a huge police, uh, pol police presence out here this morning. President Obama has offered his condolences to Los Angeles leaders and the TSA. A lot of grief out here still this morning. And, Dan, a lot of questions, too.